So congratulations on Prin Princeton in the mix. It it was so different than what I expected. Uh, what about this story caught your eye for, uh, in the beginning? Um, so uh, we uh, got connected with a, a writer director uh, through a different project and um, he mentioned uh, Princeton in the mix along with a few other uh, things that he kind of had in development and uh, after we read the script, we just fell in love with it. I mean, it's one that is very unique and the subject of uh, college admissions and the SATs and the pressure that um, uh, uh, kids have with it, it feels right for satire. <laughs> and once we read this, it felt like the right project for us to jump on. Definitely. Uh, you know, college admission uh, has its own real life horror stories. Why? Why did you pursue this this um the this story this trajectory of this story especially? Heather, why don't you go ahead? So our director um, works in that world in the in the SAT prep world. So he wanted to take things that he'd experienced and just and just go to the extreme with them. And I think what you said it is exactly right. You don't expect where it's going. And I think that's what really attracted us to this and in telling this story this way. It's a very different, um, it ends up a very different film than I think you you expect at the start, which is part of the fun, a big part of the fun. Definitely. And uh, your cast is amazing. Uh, the the young man uh, who who is going through a lot of this is is fantastic what was the casting process process like for this it was definitely a group a collaborative effort you know especially with projects like this and when you're dealing with a budget on a short film it's really difficult to find quality cast so we ended up uh you know working with a woman named stephanie holbrook um she's you know part of the team that discovered timothy chalamet and charlie besso who plays uh you know the, the mill lead in the film um, was just graduating from NYU's film school, uh, getting his acting degree. He's gone on to do a lot of great things. And she basically came to us and said, you're getting the next Timothy Chalamet at the very beginning of the process. It was the same thing with Heather Burns, uh, who plays Beth. Um, you know, she is a prolific actress. She has an incredible career, uh, you know, Miss Congeniality, a lot of other things like that. And it's one of those things where we just had a list of names and at some point you just start reaching out. And if a piece of material really resonates with a talent, you know, that's something that will go a lot further than what the monetary value behind that is. Um, you know, for any young filmmakers that end up watching this, if you have a project you think is right for somebody, always go out to them because they are making their money on other projects. It is always worth it to have something of substance and something that maybe they haven't done before, because that will open up the doors and give them such a great opportunity. Definitely. Um, for me, I, I worked with uh, with youth and uh, talked a lot about their education and their their goals. So um, I came across a lot of stories of kids that are looking for ways to improve their chances to get into school. Uh, you know, there's a lot of horror stories out there, like I mentioned before, and I heard a lot of people talk different things about how to how to get a step up on everybody else when this movie goes to that point it it's it's not unlike some of the stories i heard like faking injury uh asking for more time and certain things uh for you guys how did you connect to the story so, first of all um, you got it Antonio. Yeah, I think we all kind of connect to it in a different way. Um, uh, I know that John is a father and uh, um, our writer director, and uh, he worked in that world, and that's how what kind of inspired it. I mean, for me, it's uh, I always try and take on projects that have some type of social, cultural, or political message behind it, and I feel like a story like this, although it's satire and though it's horror, and there's it's a lot of fun and everything too. At the end of the day, there is a message to it and everything too. And um, uh, the main uh, kid in it, he, his passion is piano. And um, he doesn't want to, uh, when his mom approaches him about this idea of uh, kind of a getting a leg up in order to get extra time on the SATs, he says, mom, I love piano. <laughs> this is what I want to do. And uh, I think a lot of it is about uh, your passion in life and uh, for all of the young people out there and uh, young people, as you mentioned, Jesus, uh, 
Um, I think it's really about sticking to your passion and what you really want to do in life and um, having that uh, determination in order to do whatever you need to do in order to get there. Anybody else want to chime in on that? For me, uh, I went to a high school with that was probably similar to where this character was going to school. And I knew these parents. And I think to me, it was just super attractive to tell a story that highlights, well, it does go hopefully more extreme than most parents would go. I do think it's fun to highlight that, that some of these parents do go to very extreme levels to what do what they think is helping their kid, but ultimately maybe not as extreme as this, but does end up hurting their kid. Matt? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because you look at something like the Lori Loughlin scandal, um, where all of these parents were paying to get their kids into schools. And, you know, you see this definite dichotomy between the people that have money and the people that don't have money. Um, you know, I know that the college admissions process is trying to rectify that and, you know, look at a lot more of a sort of holistic and comprehensive view when letting kids go to school. So at some point, it's about choosing your niche. You know, I know kids that'll go to a community college for a couple of years and transfer. Some people, you know, just look against that when I was going to school. Um, I had that opportunity and I didn't take it and ended up going a different direction, which ended up working out. Um, but, you know, as long as you know what you want to do, there are plenty of options out there. Um, sorry, I just got distracted by Antonio's dog. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people where, you know, school was great. I went to Chapman. I have a film degree from Chapman. I learned more in practically doing than I ever did in school. And I know that not every discipline is going to be like that, but school for me was networking opportunities. And it was, you know, I learned a little bit, but I learned more probably in my first six months to a year of actually doing. Um, I'm not telling you to not go to school. I'm just saying that if you're not going in the exact direction you want to, there is no end all be all, right? Like you're kind of forging your own path and, too many people see this very linear or like Instagram worthy. I have to be doing this um, when, you know, as long as you're doing what you want to do and creating your own path, that's I think realistically the most important. Definitely. And uh, you know, uh, dances with films has so, so many high quality projects. Uh, how do you guys feel having, uh, having this project be at dances with films being at an like, iconic location, like the Hollywood TCL Chinese theater? Incredible. I mean, when you're creating a film, you know, we've been working on this, I get probably two years at this point. It's such a long life of a film, right? And, and the festival process is the first time where it's completely out of your control. Mm -hmm. And you're taking this thing you've been working on so hard, so many, you know, thousands of hours, and you're handing it off and saying, I hope you like it. And you don't know what that's going to turn into. And you get you do get a lot of rejections. And it's it's a stressful process. And so to have our world premiere at dances, I, I'm just so absolutely thrilled. I feel like the, the having it at the TCL is like the cherry on top, but the team at dances, the films at dances, I mean, it's just an incredible festival and we couldn't be more excited to have our world premiere there and then see where we go from here. Anybody else want to add anything? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, getting into any festival is great. And one um, such as Dances with Films, which is so filmmaker friendly and filmmaker forward is uh, great just from a pure um, uh, excitement <laughs> perspective and everything too. And having it uh, be at the quintessential uh, uh, Chinese theater in Hollywood. I mean, uh, that's uh, uh, one of the dream locations to see a film and for us to have a world premiere there is um, really exciting and everything too. It's kind of a, uh, our team is really, really excited as is uh, all of our uh, cast and crew who are coming all the way from New York or different parts of the country to attend. Definitely. And um, I guess fi final question, uh, when you are out there at the Dances with Films, what kind of reaction are you looking for from the audience? Authentic. Um, yeah, that, that, you took the words right out of my mouth, Matt. Absolutely. I think that um, everyone has a different um, perspective on uh, projects and on films when you see them on the screen. And it's, it's always great to see how uh, different people react in different ways and everything, too. 
And uh, at the end of the day, we do uh, the best we can to produce um, it in a high quality fashion and try to get it to the best point that it is. And um, at, to what, at, like Heather mentioned, and uh, the answer to our last question too was, um, uh, you at, at a certain point, you kind of just got to let it go out into the world, uh, see what happens after then everything too. So uh, we're all very excited. And uh, I think that it'll be uh, really cool to just kind of share at this moment with all of the cast and crew and uh, kind of see the reactions from there. Definitely. Uh, well, thank you all for your time. Uh, it's a fantastic project. I look forward to seeing it with an audience. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for your time.